Hello, it's Rachel from Central Texas Zone 8B, and I am ready to start putting the flowers in. This is the part I'm really excited about. Let me get everything here. So, I have all my pressed flowers. Look at all these cool things. Um, I'll put the Etsy shop down below that I got them in. I have greenery too. So what I'm gonna do is, first I'm going to uh, lay them out and I'm going to Mod Podge them down, let that dry. And I'm going to, I have some uh, UV resin here that I have not fully op I haven't opened everything in a little UV light. I'm going to seal all the cracks in the table between all the little joints and stuff because there's quite a few of those, you know, and uh, seal those all with the, the UV resin. And then I will attempt to do, so after I've done all that, then I will attempt to do my deep pour resin for this tabletop. Um, I have no idea what I'm doing with the resin. I, I have researched a lot, but this is my first time um, and I'm really nervous about it. The flower part is like what I'm really excited about, uh, just laying it all out and um, uh, yeah, making it into the piece of art that I, the usable piece of art that I envision. And that's what I really like to do. I love to make pieces of art around your house or in your garden that are really, uh, that serve a purpose and a function. So, um, yeah, uh, wish me luck. I will post the results of this, whether I fail or succeed. So either way, it's gonna go up and hopefully someone will be able to take my idea and make it even better or, you know, learn from my mistakes, at least that way or something. So yeah, um, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with that this. Um, hopefully I can get, uh, this should take me all week to kind of do all the different sections of this, um, but hopefully it will be all in one video and completed and I will be able to post it on Monday, this next coming Monday. Um, so fingers crossed that that actually happens too. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So before I get into my um, video, I wanted to take a second to highlight this channel that I found uh, recently, and I'm really excited about what they're doing. Um, if you love uh, those channels where, you know, people go in and they try to save these old buildings um, or, or uh, castles or, or anything like that, um, and especially if you live in Texas, um, then I highly recommend going to check out um, this channel. It's called uh, Money Pit Castle slash Santa Fe Castle. I'll put the just uh, link in the description box below. But this couple sold their home and they went to buy this really cool, quirky old building slash castle here in Texas um, that is just really unique. Um, and uh, I really am excited about what they're doing and that they're trying to save this building because I see I love I love channels where people go to save old you know old buildings and, and historical things but this particular building is not only the fact that it's in Texas but is just really unique looking um, so uh, if you love the channels like that and then also love uh, humorous narration, I highly recommend going to check out um, their channel. I wish them the absolute best. Um, so I just wanted to take a moment to highlight their channel because I think it's um, really cool uh, what they're doing. And I was really excited when I found it. Um, so yeah, anyhow, um, wishing them the best of luck and go check them out. Okay, so I have all these gorgeous pressed flowers laid out and I'm kind of deliberating now if I want to do like a um, like a rainbow where each section is like, you know, if we go from like, or a gradient from like, you know, white to yellow to orange, pink, and you know, blues, purples, or if I want to do mix all the colors together. I think, I think either way would be absolutely stunning. Um, I think what I am going to go for is wildflower meadow look, which is kind of what I've always been thinking where I mix all the colors together. However, if someone wants to do this, something like this and they do a radiant like a, a rainbow type colors with the pressed flowers i think that would look great so idea for the next person out there if you do it please post pictures so that i can see it um but anyhow uh, i'm gonna go ahead and get started laying these out
so I finished laying out all of the pressed flowers and now I'm going to try to glue them in place. I was thinking what I would do is take the Mod Podge and uh, pour it over them and just the kind of weight of the Mod Podge hold them in place or either individually glue everything down and I'm not quite sure yet so I need to do a little bit of research before I start this part of it. So um, this may, the gluing may either happen today which is what I'm hoping or I may start it tomorrow. We'll see. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so after a little bit of research, I think I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and pour the Mod Podge into one area here or one of the little um, sections and see how it does with that. I might need to switch this Mod Podge to something that squeezes out a little bit better instead of just pours in big glops, but we'll see how this goes. Okay, so I haven't quite finished this side yet, but um, the UV resin works much better in my opinion than the Mod Podge. With the Mod Podge, we had the bleeding. We don't have any of the color bleeding. Um, with the UV resin, uh, it is pretty tedious. Uh, I did have some bubbles form. I wasn't being as careful over here and I had a big bubble form over here that I'm not super pleased with. There's a few little ones around some fronds and things like that. But overall, this does work. It is extremely tedious though. Um, I wonder if it would be easier to pour a little bit of resin, uh, slow, really slow drying one, and then press in all the leaves, let that cure, and then move on to the next one. However, that, that's also tedious in a lot of ways. Basically, this is just a tedious product. Like, I love it, but it is, it is very time consuming. Um, yeah. So, if you're working on this in a much smaller um, level, I think it would work to pour a slow drying um, resin. I don't know what that's called or anything about it, but that seems like a good idea to do a slow one, press the flowers into it, and then let it cure, and then pour another layer of resin over on top of that. That's what I'm thinking, but I'm not gonna do that with this project. Um, I am probably gonna use this UV resin for the rest of it. I have three bottles. I will probably have to buy a little more. All right, hello. It is the next day and I just wanted to do a close up on this section here to talk about the difference between the Mod Podge and the um, UV resin. So as you can see, the Mod Podge, I did three different um, kind of I guess I'll call these little trays, little trays of Mod Podge with the flowers. They are not yet dry. So I have a very lightweight one of, or a light usage one, a medium and a heavy usage. Uh, the bleeding is also quite excessive. Uh, I also used um, some of the Mod Podge to uh, glue down this larger flower for the top of this. And it made, so one of the biggest things is it's making the colors bleed. However, I'll, I'll turn the camera around and, and show y'all what I'm talking about here. But um, when the Mod Podge dries, it dries clear. And so the bleeding is, of the color is right over where the flower is at. And so it doesn't look as terrible as it looks now once it dries, if that makes sense. It just, it's not as good as the UV resin. The UV resin does not, it doesn't, the flowers and the dye don't have time to bleed at all. Um, the only thing I really, so I, I'm not going to use Mod Podge for the rest of it. I'm just going to use UV resin because I can't wait for this, this long drying period. Um, but I'll turn the camera around here or bring a close up so you'll see what I'm talking about. So as you can see, there's quite a bit of bleeding and this color, let's see if I can get that, this color, uh, this flower right here, but when it dried clear, the, um, it's right over the where the where the actual flower is, so it doesn't look 
that bad when it's over that. It just looks a little fuzzy. The image looks a little fuzzy. So as you, and then the one where I used quite a lot of Mod Podge, the color bleed is really bad, especially on the brighter colors like the red and the pink. Um, however, again, once it dries down and goes clear, it doesn't look as terrible. It just looks fuzzy, kind of like a fuzzy image a little bit. Here is the one where I use less Mod Podge and it's still, even in the areas where I used very little, it's still not fully dry. Another thing I dislike about the Mod Podge is because it has time to sit on the flower so long, it actually makes them go a little bit translucent, some of them. So the, the thing I actually dislike the most is this how this flower turned out. So I'm gonna show you how this flower is supposed to look because I have one more of these that I still haven't glued down. Um, so, but you can see where I put the glue in. You can see that little circle of translucent, um, even though the glue is fully dry. So that's how it looks. And I really don't like that. That's not, that's not the look I was going for. So I'm gonna try to, I might take this off and put a different flower on top of it. Um, and I'll show y'all how it's, how this flower was supposed to look. Okay, so this is how that flower was supposed to look. As you can see, it has quite a bit more coloring left to it uh, versus the other one is very translucent where the glue was at. And here is a side-by-side -side of the UV resin versus the Mod Podge. Lots of color bleed, zero color bleed. So this side takes is a little more tedious. Um, the UV resin, you have to kind of glue down each piece and just kind of takes a little more time. However, I think it's worth it because it comes out looking just so crisp and clean. Um, and then it's going to be really easy to do a, um, a pour of uh, resin over that. So I'm going to get started. I... I finished, back up the camera here, I finished these two trays yesterday um, and I have, uh, I have 10 more to do. So I'm gonna try, it's fairly early in the day and I'm gonna try to go ahead and get all 10 of these done today. I may not be able to do that, but I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I probably won't film me doing all of them, just maybe a couple, um, just so that I can move quickly and also that would be extremely tedious to just watch me glue down flowers for hours and hours. Um, obviously I would speed it up, but still I think that's a little bit tedious. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and get started and yeah, hopefully we'll finish this today or hopefully I'll finish this today. So I have finished um, placing all of the flowers and using the UV resin to glue them in place. I am ready to do the pour of the other resin. Um, this is the brand I bought. I don't know anything about resin at all. I bought this one. Um, so anyhow, I can't. Um, and then I went ahead and also I uh, plugged up these... Um, uh, holes from the uh, where the doorknobs were at my uh, wonderful friend uh, Liz her husband um, cut these for me uh, so big shout out to him uh, for doing that um, so he was able to use you know the right tools to 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 get these um, perfectly sized and everything so big thank you to him um, and I will be I have to wait to pour the epoxy uh, till the weather cools down because it is very hot, but it is supposed to cool down here soon. You're supposed to pour, I believe, uh, you're supposed to pour between uh, 75 degrees and 85 degrees is the best time to pour. Well, we've been um, having temps over 100 every day for forever now, and um, we, it'll be, you know, maybe, maybe it'll be like 78 and at like 8 a.m. but very quickly within like two hours it's over 80 you know so it just has been way too hot and I don't want I this is such a labor of love for me that I and I, I really hope it turns out that I don't want to risk uh, the epoxy not curing properly or um, anything so I am going to wait for cooler weather as much as I would like to have 
shown y'all a finished video uh, of this table or finished product and stuff um, in this video, I, I have to wait. Um, hopefully, I, I do believe uh, soon, like in a week or so, it, it is supposed to cool down. So hopefully I will be able to pour sometime soon here. Um, and then uh, I have the table legs all ready to go and everything like that. So fingers crossed that y'all will get <laughs> a finished product at some point. And I apologize that um, this project has gone on for so long. But this is what happens when you're, you know, a mom of three and the weather's really hot and you can't do things at certain times and you have to M make little room in your very busy schedule at, at um, certain places. So anyhow, um, I will uh, do a few close-ups of the flowers and the um, table so that y'all can uh, see what it looks like at, the, uh, at this point um, before uh, closing out this video. So, bye. <laughs>